Can anybody stop happy is always the question in any tournament. And we have the winner bracket quarterfinal coming up. He's up against Neutron. Indeed. Happy the big juggernaut here, the big favorite. Would have been or could be still quite outrageous if Happy doesn't make it through the qualifier here. Normally, whatever qualifier there is, he makes it through. Whatever tournament he is, he normally wins. Question is, is he going to be able to do that as well in the Arcadia World Series? He was uh, the first player to qualify from uh, the Open Qualifier and, uh, well... What can we say about him? He played another tournament earlier, the King of the Hill series earlier today, uh, the Show Cup. It was number 36, I believe. Another win for Happy. He's beating all the best players in the world 36 times in a row now. Um, yeah, Neutron, he's going to try his best. Let's say that much. He is at least the current reigning W3 Champions FFA Champion. So he's not without skill at all but the best night elves in the world have tried to take maps off of happy and that is tough on its own a best of three even tougher but a best of three is easier than the best of five so uh if there's a chance to beat happy then probably at this stage that's true well we gotta keep the hope alive you know in the past some players came really close we think back to matches of hawk where he was able to beat him in a best of three but that seems to be very few and far between. Happy has recently taken up the mantle of winning also the BTW Weekly Cups with Random. He lost one grand final against Dice, notably, also with his main race at times, but uh, most of them he still seems to win. How many did he play now with Random? Three or four, or was it even? Uh, I think he's had seven now. He won six oh, of them. Really? Mm hmm But you know, uh, there's some challengers coming. There's a Starbuck, there's a Grubby participating in our weekly cups every Friday. So we'll see. We had the semi-final. Grubby won a map against Happy, so it's not undefeatable. But of course, that was a different race. Let's go. Neutron bottom left hand side, Northern Isles. I wonder if we see a warden. Neutron loves warden on Northern Isles for some reason. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of the Warden necessarily. She's very hit or miss. She can really fall flat, especially if the Undead perfectly plays against her. But she's one of those heroes. She's one of those heroes who can really run away with the game and win a match out of nowhere. And she has great potential. Great, great potential. But it's hard to get her to that point. Is it going to be the case? Oh, oh okay. would have been a sick call, dude. But... Uh... Even no, the prophet, hunter. even the prophets can be wrong once every blue moon. But Demon Hunter, not too bad. <clears throat> he can rise up to level three here. Shouldn't be a big problem. It's going according to the meta, right? Neutron saw this bracket earlier the week. He had some time. He was able to prepare. He really wants to come. And a motivated Neutron can be scary at times. But just straight up, I don't think he has a chance. And I wonder, like he knows this. I wonder what his play is. Yeah, I would have expected an expansion play. That seems to be the most common approach against Happy. Try to get better economy and then hopefully win through numbers. But no, it's going to be a Demon Hunter. And with that, most likely one base. With a Demon Hunter, you can try to expand, but it's so hard to pull it off. Because the Undead with the Ghoul Gang can always come in to cancel that aim at the Tree of Life. If you have a Keeper, you can punch that and stop it with Entangle. With a Demon Hunter, not really. Exactly. Friend of Mana Stealing can be a decent item, especially against Happy, to double burn the demon. Later statues, maybe. I remember, it's been quite some time, maybe a year, year and a half. Neutron was uh, of the opinion that if he plays without mistakes, he can beat Happy. I wonder if that's still true. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's kind of true, just by definition. If he doesn't make mistakes, if he plays perfect, he can beat Happy. Well... But Isn't it a stalemate then? Uh, well, uh, maybe you can force some mistakes out of Happy. Maybe that's going to be <laughs> doable then. It was the first little win for Neutron here because the Wisp got uh, detonated off on two skellies right away. Happy was thinking about a fast expansion, but changes his mind. Bought the skulls, sold the skulls. It seems like a big strength of the Undeads nowadays. They can fake an expansion and then quickly transition into a tech instead if they want and bait some kind of suboptimal response out of the opponent. Yeah, even if they lose a little time, they're still very competitive. Oh, and snare on this ghoul. Archers here. 
Immediate response by Happy with the skeleton on that archer as well as the coil. Oh my god! He baited the mana burn! He baited the demon to come in for the mana burn and punishes him with a surround. Oh, that was so sick. That was so sick, dude. Oh my god. Yep, Happy is a good gamer. He's a very, very good gamer and level 2 now. <laughs> um, Dude, dude yeah. what, what, what kind of level is this guy, like, not able to reach? Like, baiting the demon to come in for a mana burn, intentionally giving up the mana to close the surround instantly. Dude. Dude. Yeah, I'm um I'm getting more and more scared of Happy, of course, of how, how good he plays with Undead. And I thought when these show cups were starting, where he's forced to play a different race, like are we creating the greatest monster of all time here? Forget <laughs> Frankenstein, forget Freddy. Happy being able to play all races, that's just gonna be way too sick. Oh big last hit. Neutron doesn't get it. He used the mana burn on the DK, that perhaps is a slight mistake. But he's got the boots. He can find some kills here. There's no way Happy saves all these units, right? Ho! Oh, misses the deny. There we go. Washed. The first mistake. Washed. Not even saving all units first and then not Down. even denying the experience. This is not the Happy I'm used to seeing. But no. Uh, Neutron trying to expand now. But of course, the this is a fragile build. A very, very fragile build. Plus, Happy's push on level 3 is, is just nuts. Going towards the middle. Could be a Naga second. Naga second with boots. Very strong, especially if the Demon Hunter isn't on level 3. And that is indeed not the case. Boots for the DK. Here it is. That definitely seems to be a Naga then. And the Demon Hunter... He's not looking strong. He's not looking strong at all, if you ask me. He got no stat boosting items. And he's missing that level 3. I feel like a keeper is necessary in this meta if you want to expand. The Demon Hunter just doesn't distract enough. Naga in the middle it is for Happy, trying to end things as fast as possible. Archer's caught. Gets two kills, nice and quick. Gives over the boots, now the Naga is also super fast. With boots plus aura, this Naga is uh, slithering real fast. Sure she's not Hufflepuff? I don't know much about the Harry Potter, I gotta say. It's what is house. Hufflepuff even all about? The only thing I know is it's yellow. <laughs> they are kind of like the the nerds, the weak nerds, but uh, heart of gold. Wait, aren't the Ravenclaws the smart nerd dudes? Yeah, they're the smart nerds. Hufflepuff is like the guys who get bullied nerds. <laughs> There's bullying at Hogwarts? It's bullying everywhere in the world, Dreamer. World is a cruel place. <laughs> Can also be a beautiful place, though. Oh, the surround almost on the Demon oh. Hunter. Oh my god, that could have been game right there. But if he oh. doesn't get the Demon, he gets the Naga. Naga. Happy, quick with the encirclement. But that's level 3 Demon Oh, the Lightning Shield! <laughs> oh, that's sick. That's sick. <laughs> okay, getting some kills, having some nice plays. One for the highlight reels. But is that enough? It can't even... Oh, that engine of wind will come up. That's kind of scary. And the tree still lives as well. Not that bad. Yep, the expansion will come up at some point. However, it won't be very early. Happy's tier 3 is quickly progressing. Well, and a good old frenzy timing is... Uh, what's the... Uh, it's the writing on the wall, as they say. Talents! We have talents, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I've seen this attempted like two or three times. And you know me, I love my talents. I'm still a big fan of the double minus armor build with an alchemist, you know? Love the crow form, it's OP against griffins. But this build is gonna get destroyed. Yeah, happy Scarlet as well. Sometimes against talents, Anids make the mistake of under producing statues and destroyers. Happy now, probably won't make that. Bring in the ghouls for even more pressure. Happy is playing this hyper aggro. Only crept two camps this whole game. Gonna get another kill. Nice oh. to... <laughs> you said the tree of life wasn't gonna go down, Neil. Have you lied to us? <laughs> nah, I just uh, kept the excitement high. Liar, liar, pants on fire! Because it goes down. Oh boy. 
Okay, now it's bad. <laughs> now, it's, now, now it's real bad. <laughs> yeah, I believe uh, that is correct. All right, burn on the statue. Those statues, if they take, if you can take them out, it's a huge play. But the Naga again exposed. She doesn't have boots. I'm talking about Neutron's Naga here. Trying to hide in the shadows, but there's dust, and there's also no more nighttime. Demon gets the kill at least, but uh, boy oh boy, Neutron's been taking a beating. Yeah, it's kind of tough to find arguments for Neutron here in this game. Mana burns are good. Demon under control also good. And I'm running out of arguments. Well, well, well. Neutron. <laughs> it's gonna take a special kind of miracle. Like, uh, we need more than a Christmas miracle for this game to still be won. We need a Hanukkah and a Ramadan miracle on top. And then he has a chance, maybe. Is that a thing? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I mean, um... Focus fire can work to a degree with talents. Damage of archers should be high later with marksmanship, but he doesn't have too many of them. Q's master training on the talents before. Well, you know, the strength of undead is the heroes. If you can all cyclone them up, then they have no heroes. But oh my god, he has no TP. Whoa. Oh, hello. Say hello to my lich friend. Brutal. That Nova comes most timely. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> it's a, yeah. Yeah. He ran You've into it a before. Yeah. He, he he like ran into a chainsaw with this build, didn't he? Yeah, it was also super greedy. You know, like he's trying to play demon expansion. With tier three, you know, uh, with with master training talents, it if it plays out like that, you know, if Happy is aggressive, it can be an absolute bloodbath. But maybe it's the right call still. Maybe he has to hope for Happy to be complacent, to not scout well, to not pressure well, and then maybe with a greedy build, he can get into a good position. But Happy was on top, and uh, yeah, 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 that was rough. I don't think Neutron will be too disappointed. He knows that Happy outclasses him, as Happy outclasses almost everyone in the world. So he will probably hope for a good lower bracket run. But he still has a chance, and I wonder if he... Like, you know, he l likes to annoy people every now and then? Maybe that's his goal now. To annoy Happy as much as possible, as soon he knows how stoic of a person he can be. And Neutron is more on the other side of things, like... Jolly, funny, trolly. Hey, we can hope for that. Yeah, he can be very extroverted and eccentric. Uh, and a fun guy indeed to hang out with. And if there is a very diva-esque eccentric hero in the game for Night Elf, it is the Warden. Will we see her now? I would love to. Step down two Ancients of War, level up the Warden, hope for her to carry you. I think Neutron really has to play this somehow greedy to have a chance, because his mechanics aren't quite on the same level. But, no Warden, no. It's gonna be the Demon Hunter again. Yeah. <laughs> I actually wouldn't mind seeing Neutron hide some buildings somewhere. <laughs> Just PM. But I don't think there's any animosities between them, so... Probably, probably not happening. Tight Hunters, what's Happy's first choice of tactics? Expansion or harass? The player's forces are under attack. <clears throat> mm. It's a good question. Like, that's the downside of playing this Ancient of War creep. Uh, Happy could easily fast expand because yeah. he knows that Neutron is going to be super busy at this first creep camp for a long time. Once he scouts it, is he going to scout it though? He might scout, but perhaps a bit too late. Okay, that's some time. A little evasion creeping off the bat. Well, he pulls the Acolyte back right away. Okay, this this could just be... Alright, let's expand then. Yeah, another Acolyte. Happy is absolutely expanding. And this... This is a good counter. I think that's a pretty good counter because this Demon Hunter is so far away from being able to harass anything. You know what? I uh, Since I started my letter grind, I like to make references to my own games. And I struggle against Night Elf when I play Standard. But if I have an expansion, free win. And if I Brother. can get... 
I can get I free wins. I know that all too well. Yo, I know that all if, too well. If I can get free wins against something, that is kind of my proof that this strategy is very, very strong. The best feeling is when you get the fast expansion up when they play Demon Hunter, because Demon Hunter can never stop it, right? And then they play Naga, and you're like, oh, baby, yep. let's go four crypts and endless gargoyles. Right on. <laughs> if, if they play a panda, I go three crypt and slaughterhouse. But if I see it's a Naga, no, just e e e e e e e e e give me them gargs. I haven't seen gargs from Happy in a long time, uh, but maybe this is the time? Probably not. It is time, certainly, for the expansion. Nerop Tower are going to come up here soon. Shout out to Kevin. But uh, it takes a little while to actually set up this haunted, doesn't it? True that. But if this would be a keeper, I'd say, okay, you can walk over and just destroy it. But with a demon hunter, really limited options. Um, it is mass hunts coming in the base, can be scouted. So we have a Demon Hunter AP push against this. Yeah, Happy did scout it. There was oh. a Skelly there a second ago. Of course. He saw what was going on. Of course it and was. And for that, for that reason, he uh, didn't start the expo. Started the tech instead. And now... And this is what I was talking about earlier. This is a new strength for Undead. You can fake the expansion, try to trigger the opponent into a bad response, and then go for the perfect counter response. Undead's so versatile. What are other races supposed to do against it? Thank you, Abra Kebabra, for the 19-month resub. Back from a two-week family vacation, less than three, to see my other family now again. What did I miss? Lots and lots of great games you missed. But welcome back. The other family. That was quite sweet. Dimahara is going to be reaching level three here in a moment. He's got pretty good items. Not... P -p -p perfect, but pretty good. Oh, dude! Look at the lab. There's an AP coming here on the high ground. I've never what? seen that before. That's super cool. How do the creeps not wake up? Silent growth. Wait, does the AP start attacking them when it's finished? Uh, oh, that would be bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be real bad. <laughs> yeah, yes! <laughs> but okay, we wanted special strategies. We get special strategies. That's super cool. Does that work on both sides? Normally, Care is very diligent with making maps as symmetrical as possible. Oh, that's super sweet. So juicy, sweet. Okay, he's gonna attack the creeps now. <laughs> Haven't thought of that in a while. Okay, we uh -oh, still have AP. two wisps here. Ooh, he uprooted right away. Wow, nice. neutron on point. And that's tricky uh as an undead. But. You have to survive, and then it's getting better and better and better. Neutron has to do critical damage, if not outright win, before the slaughterhouse is finished. Slaughterhouse is coming up now. Happy's base build. I think he can... So this slaughterhouse should be cancelled. Yeah. Neutron? Neutron? Dude. Uh, it's so easy, but yeah, I guess he wants to defend the APs. One is down, one is up. But that allows the slaughterhouse. Snow from the halls of the dead, very strong. In a push like this, having entangled in treants would be so good. The demon hunter really falling off. We can see it here. He's very good for mana burn, but other than that, he's not good for much. And Happy's taking out more APs. He's buying so much time for himself. Oh, babes. We've seen that before. <laughs> a little bit of a lag, maybe on Wi Fi or something. It'd be funny if he just pulls the cord now. He's like, regame question mark? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Glaives are coming. Is he attacking his own? No, he's attacking the ghouls. Okay, I thought for a second he's attacking his own AP. But that's not the case. One AP up. He's taking care of the ghouls now. And Glaives to put pressure on buildings early on. I really like that. Slaughterhouse did finish. I thought it was going to get cancelled. But it wasn't. And we have the first unit coming out. It's a statue, which kind of surprises me. Having a wagon here right away would be a huge help. I mean, statues are also known to be... Fairly good units, fairly um, good. but fairly good. You know, not bad, not terrible. <laughs> um, but yeah, he needs slaughterhouse. Uh, I mean, <laughs> wagon to break this. I was gonna say, but Neutron throws in the towel. Happy, <clears throat> just kind of outmaneuvered him. Fake the expo, follows up with the tech, and then, well, 
not much of a chance. Happy doesn't need no wagon. I guess that's not much of a surprise, right? Um, if the opponent isn't Foggy, Starbuck, on a good day, Dice or X-Lord, in Europe, it's really, really hard to threaten them. Happy in the winner bracket semi-final. That stage then is best of five. But yeah, he's done for the day. Yep, uh, with a clean slate. That looked very solid as always. Happy probably going to take this part of the bracket um, next week then. Exactly. On Saturday, we'll see him again, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know my own schedule, Remo. I'm such a bad organizer. I don't know my own schedule at the top of my head. But yeah, Neutron survives as well in the lower bracket, where he will play on a Saturday for sure. We scroll up a bit. Wait, isn't he playing today? Neutron? No. Yeah. First round match? Second round match. Show up. Ah, okay, round. yeah, yeah, second, second round, second round. Since he defeated Sonic. No, he's finished for the day. Um, Happy is finished for the day. Next Saturday is only lower bracket. That means that Happy's next games are next Sunday, as well as Starbuck and X-Lord and everybody who's in the lower bracket. We're going to have four decider matches in a row, all best of five next Sunday. Pog champ, dude, that's going to be epic. The guy who makes this programming, right? He should get an award or something. You gotta call up Corsair, maybe you can share the esports award. <laughs> Dude, epic, epic gamer moments. Exactly. And a award that I really wanna have is the YouTube award for 100,000 subscribers. We're currently sitting at like 64,000. So uh, you could help us with a click. It's one single click youtube.com slash back to Warcraft. Subscribe. Even if you don't use your YouTube account, who cares? If you have multiple Google accounts, I don't care either. Just Hit the subscribe button, maybe on your main account, ring the bell to get notifications and not miss anything. But that would be quite sweet of you. I had several dreams when I started this Back to Warcraft project. I casted a world championship, easily done. I wanted to cast a WCG. Never thought I would do that, but for some reason we did that all of a sudden. I wanted to do my own LAN, boom, we did that. So 100k on YouTube, next goal, but I can't do it myself, so I need your help. Go to youtube.com slash back to Warcraft, hit the sub button. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the sub button. We give Sonic and Nido some time to set up the map picks and bands. And then I'm really curious about this because that could be a lot of Gargs. Stay tuned, everybody. Be right back.